Hi, welcome to the Alex Ding Show. My name is Alex Ding, and I have a guest for you today. How are you doing today? I'm good. All right, so what's your name? My name is Ibrahim. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so where are you from? Um, I'm from Senegal. Okay. It's a country in West Africa. All right. I grew up there for five years. And then I moved to Taiwan and did other countries like Saudi Arabia, South Korea, and France. All right, so that's what I've been all over the place, sort of. Yeah. Um, so, what were you doing in Taiwan? So, my dad is a diplomat, so oh. we had to travel a lot. And he was working at the embassy, so I was there for three years. And then I moved to Saudi Arabia. All right, so did you like uh, pick, up it, uh, pick up the language at all? Because my uh, dad's from Taiwan and oh. uh, he spoke. Mandarin a lot. Did you pick it up at, at all? Yeah, actually, I, I started learning and understanding Chinese for like two years, and then as soon as I got to Saudi Arabia, I forgot everything. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Saudi Arabia anyway to get yes. by. Oh, yeah. Did you like do any sports or anything at all to keep yourself busy? Well, I was a big soccer fan. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I used to play soccer at school and outside with my friends. Yeah, cool thing about soccer, it's like an international sport, so it everybody is. knows what it is. All you do is kick a ball with your feet. Exactly. That's yeah, so that's really cool that you can probably find pretty much that sport anywhere you go. Yeah. Um, did you like any of the countries more than others? Um, definitely South Korea. Yeah. That's the, most, that's the one I remember the most. Um, I spent there six years, um, so I basically grew up there and I learned a lot. I had a lot of friends. So yeah, definitely South Korea. Yeah, you uh, most likely picked up the language more in that six years because you said that Chinese it took you like two and a half years. Well, actually, I was older in South Korea, so and I was in the French school, so I wasn't learning anything Korean. I had Korean friends, but I didn't speak Korean at all. Oh, on lucky. English, yeah. Well, uh, so where did you stay over in uh, South Korea? Did you most likely stay like in the city or something? Like that? No, actually, my dad. As was an ambassador, so we were living in the mountains, so very far from the city, it was like maybe 30 minutes drive. So, in South Korea, you said that it's like your favorite place to go since you visited. What would you really like to do there? Um, I, like, I like hanging out with friends, going to karaoke, yeah. to the movies, and you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so you do karaoke, huh? Yeah. What's your song? Um, my best songs would be Beyonce. Beyonce? Like, Beyonce. And like, which specific songs? Like, um, at the time, it was like probably like Hello and some some stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. nice! Yeah. Um, man, I, I haven't gotten the chance to do karaoke here since I've been here. Um, I swear there's just no good karaoke bar that I know. Of, but um, but hey, so um, let's see here. Now, what brings you to America? I don't know. Is your dad still being a diplomat here? Or? Oh, so my dad retired. Oh. Like, three years ago. So I, I was studying in France for five years and then I was tired of it and I decided to move here to do something else. Yes, and, uh, something else. Uh, so uh, what made you come to UC Blue Edge? Um, I was looking for a program that was short. Um, my dad wanted me to do a bachelor, but I was like, no, because four years is too long because I already had a degree in economics before. Really? Yeah. So I just wanted to do something small that I can do and have fun with it. Yeah, and yeah, definitely e-media is super fun. Um, so what's your primary focus when you're in this program? Um, primary focus was um, video one. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was I'm enjoying doing video and editing stuff, but I did design photo one and audio, so I'm liking it. Yeah, uh, I agree. Uh, my focus is probably going to be video two. Yeah. Um, so definitely. How long have you been in America, actually? Um, I came here in August 2020. Oh, 2020. So it's been like just a few months right now. Wow. That's crazy. You, like, you came to this country during the pandemic. That's wild. Yeah, it was very wild. Like, um, I got enrolled here in July. They accepted me in July and I had to move, take everything and pack and come here in August. And it was complicated because to get a visa and everything at the time was very hard. Yeah, and you probably could, like definitely quarantine yourself like yeah. immediately. I have to stay at home. Even getting all this stuff is crazy. Thanks for joining me today, Ibrahima. Um, it was awesome learning more about you and what you're doing here in our country and what you're planning on doing in the future. Um, it was great. So, well, that's it for today's show. This has been the Alex Ding Show, and this has been our guest. Thank, Thank you. Everyone.